Hello, my name is Fisher Hamilton. My partner and I will be conducting an experiment for fluid mechanics. In this experiment, we will be solving for the weight of my truck and my partner's vehicle using fluid statics. We will show you the procedure taken to solve for the weight. We will explain to you the conditions, the neglections, and their proper locations on the tire to measure. At the end of this video, we will present to you the results and we will check the results using our own owner's manual for our vehicles. Hello, my name is Jonathan Falkenberry and today I will elaborate on the procedure taken to solve for the weight of each vehicle. Now, basically we're going to use static equilibrium. In static equilibrium, uh, your forces, any force diagram that has forces in a similar direction, those forces should sum to zero. Um, so for this particular case, we have four tires, which means four reactionary forces at each tire, or a reactionary force at each tire, coming down to four reactionary forces total, supporting the weight of the vehicle. And in this particular example, up will be the positive direction, down will be the negative direction. So our final summation will boil down to zero is equal to 4F minus W. So the weight of our vehicle is equal to four times the reactionary force at each tire. Now, to solve for that force, we have a free body diagram of our tire. On that free body diagram, you see a surface, a cross-sectional area of A. That area will be found by multiplying the width of the tire times the length of the tire or the cross-sectional area in contact with the ground. So to solve for a force using pressure, force is equal to pressure times the cross-sectional area. For this particular example, our pressure will be the pressure of the atmosphere plus the gauge pressure times our cross-sectional area. This, in general, is known as absolute pressure, so we're just going to simplify that in the next equation and have our final force equation to be the force is equal to pressure absolute times delta times L, which is the width of the tire, times the length of the tire, uh, the cross-sectional area. And for this particular example, we will need the given information that atmospheric pressure is equal to 101.325 kilopascals and 14.7 pounds per square inch. In this portion of the video, we're going to show you the measurements we took to find our cross-sectional area. Whenever you're finding the width, you want to make sure you're using the proper points of interest, which are the beginning of the tread to the end of the tread. Whenever you're finding your length of the tire, you need to make sure that the measuring tape cannot squeeze underneath the tread. To conclude our experiment, we wrote our given equations and we created a chart. Basically with the chart, you plug and chug in the equations and you find your final weight. For the weight of the car, we found 2,456 pounds. For the weight of the truck, we found 5,528 pounds. We then went and checked the manuals of our vehicles. The truck had 6, 000, was weighed 6,000 pounds, and the car was 2,600 pounds. So we calculated our percent error, which is your actual minus theoretical over your actual. For the car, we got 5.5%, and for the truck, we got 7.9%. And that concludes our video, and thank you very much for watching.